1990, directed by Stephen M. Keenzel, starring Jerry Anderson, Carol Ann Toner, and J.T. Wallace. Three unrelated people, a sleazy director, an ambitious reporter, and a miserable drunk, all have skeletons in their closets, and a package given to each by a mysterious delivery boy will force them to face the consequences. I'm going to be honest, I had pretty low expectations going into this one. Straight to video, underwhelming box cover, largely inexperienced cast and crew, an anthology film meaning the budget would be further slashed to accommodate multiple stories. None of these things are necessarily a recipe for success. There was nudity not even a couple of minutes in as well, which is always a warning sign to me that the director is going to rely on cheap thrills to rope viewers in. I was pleasantly surprised, however, to find that this film, while definitely rough around the edges, is a lot smarter than it initially appeared. I was definitely impressed by how these modest segments successfully managed to portray a variety of settings and scenarios, including the movie set of a sleazy studio, a metropolitan news station, Vietnam during the 60s, and other locations. The cast hold their own in spite of being largely inexperienced, no one really delivers a bad performance here. In spite of a cast of largely unknown actors, there are two familiar faces. James Earl Jones is the film's off-screen narrator, who sounds like he's trying to record his lines before the vocal booth explodes. Angela Jones launched her career with this film as well. Though not necessarily a household name, she's most well known for her portrayal of the bizarre murder-curious cab driver Esmeralda Villalobos in Pulp Fiction. The makeup effects in this film, while modest, are effective in delivering what they needed to be. This is no surprise, as John Blake and Jeffrey S. Farley have gone on to build impressive resumes for themselves. The only segment that didn't really work for me was the last one, whose premise has been done in countless other films and shows more effectively. It's not bad, it's just the weakest link of the bunch. This film feels like three episodes of Tales from the Crypt stitched together in a shared world. Each story makes references to a previous segment. I don't understand why the film is called Terrorgram, in spite of the fact that Telegram Boys never delivered packages. They really missed on the opportunity to call this one Special Delivery. Verdict? Recommended. A scrappy film you won't want to return to sender. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.